The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-il sends army helicopters to rescue 68 people stranded by flooding in North Vietnam and South Hamnyon provinces as record rains deluged underprivileged farmland and residential areas of the nation. The heads of Zimbabwe's three ruling political parties convene for a historic meeting to discuss how to further speed the process of national reconciliation. A survey in Russia by the non-governmental polling organization Nevada Analytical Center shows that majority of citizens favor a ban on smoking and alcoholic beer in public places, with 82% supporting a smoking ban and 76% a drinking ban. A team of German and Jordanian archaeologists find a 6,000-year-old Bedouin statue with a long nose and bearded abstract face, providing insight into a mysterious ancient civilization that once thrived in the desert connecting the countries of Jordan, Iraq, in Saudi Arabia. The Lifeball 2010 AIDS charity held in Vienna, Austria during the week of an international HIV AIDS conference raises 1.9 million US dollars for research and prevention programs. Canada donates 6.5 million US dollars to Niger and Chad to provide crucial food assistance for over 6 million people in need, with funds being directed through the United Nations World Food Program and Save the Children Canada. After writing to US President Barack Obama about overcoming the experience of being bullied at school, 11-year-old Zaney Stokes of Pennsylvania, USA, receives a letter of commendation from the president, encouraging her to continue being an agent for change. Saudi and Chinese ministries of culture commemorate the 20th anniversary of their country's diplomatic relations with a cultural week of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia at China's Beijing World Art Museum. The European Union donates 15 million euro in food aid to alleviate emergency needs of hunger and malnutrition for an estimated 5.2 million Ethiopians affected by civil conflict, natural disasters and drought. U.S. researchers demonstrate a software that can decipher ancient languages such as Ugaritic by comparing its symbols to the closely related Hebrew, offering hope that computers may be able to decode other languages of the past.